Assalamu alaikum, and hello YouTube birds. Today's DIY project. Building one terrestrial satellite finder. This finder can help us in finding and tracking satellite signals. Actually there are many more free broadcasts channel out there using satellites like Astro. We only need a decoder that is capable of receiving a satellite signals then we be able to enjoy free channel from our neighbor's country. Some of the channel are locked. A password is needed to unlock the channel. Or others people call it BIS key. Entered the BIS key. Then you can watch the channel. For free. But that is not the main focus of this DIY project. Our focus is to build a satellite finder. With this finder, we will be able to watch free channel from others country. This finder can also detect signals from my TV which is terrestrial. These are the things we need to done this DIY project. This is a FT screen. This small screen will be used as a mini TV for this decoder. I use one universal decoder which is DVB-S2 and T2. This decoder can receive signals from aerial for my TV, and satellite signal. I have already drilling 4 holes on the decoder casing to mount the FT screen. Open the 3 screws that fasten the body of this decoder. Then, open the decoder casing. Unplug all the cables on board. Two screws on the board and one screw on the back of the board. Release all of it. This board are using 12 volt as power supply. We also will be using the same 12 volt to power on the TFT screen. This TFT screen also uses 12 volt for energy source. Four screws behind the screen have been released. This connector has also been released. We no longer use this wire. Solder these three wires. The red wires is for 12V, the black wires is for ground, and the yellow wires is for video input. All three wires will be connected to this decoder board. One switch for the TFT screen. With this we will able to on or off the screen. The purpose of this connector is to make it easy to unplug and connect later. And two extra wires. Place the tube shrink for more neatness. Place the on, off switch on the back of the decoder. This is a 12 volt adapter for this board. Connect the 12 volt to the decoder and on the adapter switch. Here is a 12 volt power source for TFT screen. Now we try to detect AV input on the board. This is the AV input. The yellow wires will be connected here. The black wires will be connected here. And the red wires will be connected here.
set the temperature to 275 degrees Celsius. Ok, almost ready. Put this board back to its original place. Connect all cables. These three wires are connected to this T screen. The order must be correct. The black wires in the middle. The red wires in the right. And the yellow wires to the left. The order must be correct. The black wires in the middle. Connect the connector to the TFT screen.
Okay we can test this DIY project soon. We will test turn on this decoder using a 12 volt adapter. Switch on the FD screen. Alright, so far, so good. This connector has been modified for this decoder, it's directly connected to 12 volt battery. I use a 12 volt motorcycle battery as a source of energy for this decoder and TFT screen. And a switch to control on and off the decoder, using this battery. This decoder can last more than 12 hours. Power bank is also can be used for power on this finder. You need DC 5 volts to DC 12 volts USB voltage step up converter cable with DC jack to operate with power bank. This is a mini booster to for my TV signals. This booster is directly connected to my 5E antenna. When you get the signal, you can turn the antenna until the screen shows the highest percentage reading, and you can tie the antenna. For now, there is only 14 channel and 14 radios for my TV. With this finder, we can detect satellite signals and we can add more channel without having to think about the TV bill. I have already adjusted my satellite dish. To see how I track the satellite signal. I will leave the video link below for your reference. I will show you some of the channel from our neighbor's country. Putting a mini fan is good for the decoder's life. Some of my Hot Wheels collection, just for fun. Usually Indonesia and Thailand is where I watch the free channel. Boba Boy, up in a pin among the cartoons that Indonesians TV always plays. Sorry guys, I cannot record the TV sound. Copyright issue. You know what I mean. That's all for now. Use this information at your own risk. Any injury, damage, or loss that may result from improper use of any tools and equipment, or from the information contained in this video, the user must take responsibility. If you think this video helpful for you, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. May the force be with you. Pro2DIY